In this question, I'm given each of these ions, and I'm asked to determine its electron configuration. Let's look at chromium. Chromium is element uh, 24 on the periodic table. So when it's neutral, it has an electron configuration of argon, <coughs> 4s2, 3d4, if I'm uh, looking at that correctly. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. So when it loses three electrons, from where is it going to lose them? Well, of course, it will, of course, lose the first two from this 4s orbital. And then it has to lose its third electron from the 3d orbital, which leaves you only three electrons left. Now, the stuff that I was talking about before with iron is not going to apply at all to chromium. And the reason is because uh, you can, you've got five uh, d orbitals in each shell. You've, if you only have three electrons in them, there is no need to pair them. So these 3d electrons are completely unpaired. So I don't have to worry about bumping or promoting any of them up into a 4s orbital to get them unpaired. That is going to be the electron configuration of chromium 3+. plus. Let's move on then to phosphorus. Phosphorus is element 15 on the periodic table. Phosphorus with, uh, well, phosphorus cysticus, electron configuration condensed is normally that of neon. When it's neutral, it's that of neon, then uh, 3s2. 3p3, I believe. 1, 2, 3. Yep. When it loses three elect or sorry, when it gains three electrons, it's going to gain three electrons, it now feels isoelectronic argon. Uh, in its three p's, it of course has a 3s. The 3s has two electrons in it that have to be paired. It has three individual 3p orbitals. It's got three electrons in them. When it absorbs three new electrons, the only place that those can go are also going to be in our 3p orbitals. So what that means is that phosphorus uh, electron configuration when it has three electrons added to it is going to be uh, neon 3s2 3p6. Nitrogen is similar because it uh, is in the same column as phosphorus. It's just uh, in one row higher. <clears throat> it's electron or sorry, it's a uh, atomic number is seven. So nitrogen has a neutral electron configuration of 1s2. Uh, 2s2, 2p3, I believe. When it gets three new electrons added to it, the first place those are going to go are in this p orbital. I mentioned that it, it's not ideal to have paired electrons in any energy level unless you have no choice. In this particular case, it has no choice. And the other beautiful thing about uh, it having this charge is it now feels like it has a full octet. That is, it, has, uh, it is isoelectronic with neon, the nearest noble gas.